All right. <laughs> uh, can I sign in after I speak? Because the pen's not working. That's fine. Okay. All right. Well, my name is Sam Bellamio. It's time for public comment, correct? Yeah. One yeah. moment. Okay. Who cares? Nobody cares. You can sign in after. We'll start the clock now. All right. Well, thank you. My name is uh, Sam Bellamio. Who's laughing out here is Alex Zimmerman. We're both with uh, Stand Up America, and uh, we keep coming to you, speaking to you about problems in the community. So I'm coming to you as my elected representative to help me, the public that elected you in, to help resolve these issues that we're seeing. So we have elected judges that are now, I've done a public request about public meetings that they have there, because I haven't gotten an answer from you why their public meetings are uh, not held openly in the public. It's, a, it's in the Open Meetings Act. But somehow in the legislative language, they're able to weasel their way out of it. And I don't understand how, so I asked them. Well, guess what? They weaseled their way out of public uh, open record requests as well. You know, they don't have to give you any information they don't want to. So then the other issue is why can't I talk to them as an elected official? Well, it looks like they weaseled their way out of it as well because they're ex parte. So now our judges have this huge wall put up around them as elected officials. They aren't responsible to people. As, uh, as their uh, documents inside the courthouse are not open to public records requests. And then I can't speak to them about that at their monthly meeting because their meetings are closed off. Why are our judges, the, that branch of the government, so big and powerful? It's almost as big and powerful as you guys, but yet they have just a little bit more power. This doesn't make sense to me. This is like, we keep using the word Gestapo, fascism. Secret KGB. And secret KGB because that's what it feels like. When we, you know, we have a nation of rulers that aren't responsible to the people and the issues that they put forth, it makes them laugh, apparently. <laughs> So my problem is, is I want you as elected representatives to start making legislation that says that anyone elected has to be answerable to the people at least once a quarter, yourselves included, so we can come and ask you a question instead of having this blank wall of people that don't respond back to me. Of course, I can do it in email and have a legislative aide answer me, or I could, um, I don't know any other way, I could talk to you like I am right now and not get an answer either. But that's the only thing I can do. I have no other option but to come here and speak to you and try to get a response and never get Time's one. Time's out, Sam. So please, can you start doing something for the people? Thank you. Alex, you got two minutes. Yeah, thank you very much. My name is Alex Zimmerman, and I represent Stand Up America. I stand Up America, Stand Up for Ordinary People. Guys, what has happened right now is a very unique situation that is we have. We have pure fascism with Gaster Gestapo principle, and I explain to you, I repeat this again and again and again. And we will repeat this always, because it's supposed to be stopping. We have a very interesting situation. Uh, mayor of Seattle have a public meeting, Q&A, every two weeks approximately. So uh, uh, this is a very unique situation, because nobody have an analogy like this. And what is we have in Seattle right now is a dozen judges, elected official in council, in everybody, don't doing this like a mayor doing. A mayor, this very good example. I think he can make a many mistake, but this probably best what is he can doing. And he don't scare talk to people every two weeks. We every time in his meeting for almost year right now. Yeah, every time. Yeah, exactly. Guys, what is we have right now is a pure, or you looking like organized criminal, you know what this means? Because you're supposed to be protect the Constitution, but you ignore Constitution. Because when you don't talk to people, for example, like two times per month, it's not good. So we have a simple proposition, doing something what is minimum, you know what this means? How about four times per year, or every quarter? So we have a very simple proposition. So every elector official who have office in Seattle, and you're supposed to be established this like a rule in regulation. You know what this means? Because it's protect us constitutional right, freedom of speech, and constitution. Give us warranty to every people so you will listen to us four times per year, minimum. Why not? Uh, we cannot understand this. It's number one. In, um, we saw right now Clark, Sally Clark. Time's up, Alex. She, yes. So, uh, you can deliver it to her, please? Yes. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, because uh, we think uh, what she did a uh, couple weeks ago about uh, uh, stopping people for talking, you know what this means? In dozen people, more than dozen Alex, people, we'll deliver the, speak ever for 30 seconds, not happen. We'll it's deliver the document. Pure broke of constitutional right. If we want what the Sari Clark will be resigned, if we will talking about this every day. What is possible? Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else in the audience care to provide public comment today? All right, we'll close public comment.